<laughs> Rudy Giuliani. Boy, he's he's messed himself all the way up. He has to give luxury items and a penthouse apartment to those election workers for what he did and repeated again and again. Judges ruled Rudy, Judy, Rudy rather Giuliani must give control of luxury items and his Manhattan apartment to Georgia election workers Ruby Freeman and Shay Moss. He defamed them. The mother-daughter pair won their defamation suit and a $148 million judgment against Giuliani in December. Okay. Ruby Friedman addressed the ruling outside the courthouse. Let's remind you. For now, I want people to understand this. Money will never solve all of my problems. I can never move back into the house that I called home. I will always have to be careful about where I go and who I choose to share my name with. I miss my home, I miss my neighbors, and I miss my name. Rudy destroyed her life and her daughter's. No exaggeration. Let's give you the update. Federal judge on Tuesday ordered former Donald Trump attorney and New York Mayor Rudy Giuliani to turn over all his valuable possessions and his Manhattan penthouse apartment to the control of Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss, Georgia election workers he defamed and to whom he now owes close to 150 million bucks. CNN with the details. Judge Lewis Lehman of the federal court in Manhattan said Giuliani must turn over his interest in the property to the women in seven days to a receivership they will control. Now, the judge's turnover order of the luxury items is swift, it's simple, but penthouse apartment will have its control transferred so Freeman and Moss can sell it potentially for millions of dollars. Maybe they'll just move on up. Maybe they'll just move in there. I picture it, though, and this is my opinion. It's probably decorated hideously with gold-plated fixtures and nonsense. It's just not, unless you like that sort of thing. The women who counted Georgia ballots after the 2020 election will also be entitled to about $2 million in legal fees, Giuliani has said. Donald Trump and the campaign still owes him, according to the judge. In addition to the Trump campaign fees in the New York apartment, Giuliani must also turn over a collection of watches, including ones given to him by European presidents after the September 11, 2001 attacks, assigned Joe DiMaggio, Jersey, other sports memorabilia, and a 1980 Mercedes once owned by Hollywood star Lauren Bacall. Additionally, the judge ordered that Giuliani turn over his television, items of furniture, and jewelry. Well, the TV's not going to hurt every time he's on it. It's not a good story. If I were him, I wouldn't even watch. There's no reason for him to watch TV. There's nothing good being said about him. Lehman hasn't yet decided if Giuliani will be able to keep a Palm Beach, Florida condominium he also owns or the four New York Yankees World Series rings he has, which Giuliani's son contains, were a gift from his father. Reminder of what Rudy Giuliani did. He accused Ruby Freeman and Shane Moss of election fraud in the wake of the 2020 election, saying they had stolen the election with USB drives they passed around like vials of heroin or cocaine. Moss later testified before Congress that her mother passed a mint to her while counting ballots. Fraud claims they would later say derailed their lives and Freeman was forced to leave her home because of threats. Last year, Georgia authorities officially cleared the pair of all claims of wrongdoing. Michael Gottlieb, lawyer for Freeman and Moss, told CNN's Aaron Burnett on out front that the judge's order was a necessary and key step in our client's ability to start to recover some of what has been taken away from them. Today's ruling, I think, is an example of how the justice system, even though it may take some time and even though it may take resolve, and the courage of people like Ruby Freeman and Shay Moss will hold powerful people to account for these kinds of wrongs. Um, and we should mention that the judge in this case, Lehman, was appointed by Donald Trump. Still, it's a road ahead for these two, Michael. 
And I had an argument uh, first thing this morning with one of my Republican friends who called me. I tend to like to argue even first thing in the morning. And he called me up and said he felt sorry for Rudy and his daughter because the daughter had said, OK, my father may have done something, but he's a victim, too. He's a victim of Donald Trump. So I told him off, got him all the way together about that sounds like privilege to me. OK, your father's free. He caused a lot of damage. He did a lot of harm. And he ran towards Donald Trump because he wanted to be back in the spotlight and power. And then I got a cup of chai, hung up and got my tea and started my day. What do you make of where Rudy Giuliani is today and the consequences of his own actions here? This judge saying, no, nope, had enough. They get your apartment and more. Yeah, there, there are a lot of um, victims of Donald Trump, Rudy among them. But the people that put themselves in that position are victims of their own egos. And, and nobody had a bigger ego uh, than that part. <laughs> and, and and so uh, I don't think there's a great deal of sympathy. I, I'm from New York City originally, so I I know Rudy Giuliani from when he was the DA and, and from, you know, when, when we had to see him every day. There was a I remember my father saying this guy would put his mother in jail if he knew that it was wow. going to move his career up. And my father, not a lawyer, my father wow. had an opinion on a couch at that point. But huh. but but it, it, it you know, that always felt. It always felt that way with Rudy Giuliani. He was very impressed with himself, and that's what happened to him. So I have no sympathy for him whatsoever. As a matter of fact, I think these are just desserts for Rudy Giuliani. Knowing him as well as we have, even from afar, uh, this is the kind of thing he was setting himself up for by seeking his own celebrity under the umbrella of Donald Trump. So I, I you know, and it would be really interesting um, to see. First of all, it'd be interesting to see if they did move in. It would be the greatest reality show. <laughs> In, in history, and I hope the producers out there looking oh, at wonderful. It, Ruby and Shay moved to New York, <laughs> the unbelievable television, Fantastic. living in there, wearing Yankees World Series rings. Oh, wonderful. Um, sadly, maybe not being able to go down to the Palm Beach condominium because that yeah. will, I don't know yeah. what, I don't know what would stop them. I mean, I guess there's interstate laws that I I don't know. But I mean, if they're awarding all of these things to him, I know that, that gifts are a gray area, but the condominium seems like it should go as well. But this is a man who has disgraced himself. He's uh, he, he yes, he was on a high as the mayor at, at 9-11. Uh, I think people that you rooted for people that you wouldn't have rooted for before at a time that was so tragic and unprecedented for all of us. But what people did with that afterward um, was horrendous. And, you know, he wanted to change the election to remain mayor at one point. That was some of the rhetoric. So this is a guy whose powerful ego has taken him uh, to this place. A message to, you know, if the Yankees are in the World Series now, message to Eric Adams, be careful if you get a ring, right? Yeah, I mean, it's probably too late for him. It yeah, I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> get that thing right away. <laughs> yeah. Down, yeah. He doesn't have his phone even to make a call to get tickets. Yeah, that's a good. Uh, <laughs> but you're right. With the Florida condo, uh, the reports are that Rudy is claiming that's his primary residence. Bankruptcy laws say, well, well, oh, well, we're not going to take your primary residence. Yeah. But the judge is still looking at that as yeah. he's looking at the gifts, you know, the sun and the. OK, you gave him all the World Series rings. That's convenient. Maybe it's true. Maybe it's not. They'll look at that. Nothing seems, said, less, nothing seems less Rudy Giuliani-esque than giving away you. your World right. Series. Okay. He probably thinks that he is part of the reason the Yankees won the World Series each of those Oh, words. for sure. The judge said, I can care less if, about the watch your grandfather gave you, too. It's yeah. sentimental, but it's Ruby Freeman and Shay Morris's now. Sorry, Rudy. Uh, but you're right. He squandered so much goodwill because he was power hungry and narcissistic, it would seem. I don't have a you know, psychology degree, but narcissistic. And yeah. so now the name is disgraced. The, the only Rudy who garners goodwill is that underdog from Notre Dame. Remember the underdog football yeah, player? Yeah. That's Rudy, the only good Rudy. 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 Not, yeah. not this one. The America's uh, mayor. Oh, that's dead. Right. I'll give you the last one. Probably word. other good Rudys. We don't want to sell them all short. Rudy May, actually a former New York Yankees pitcher, uh, passed away this week. So he was. A good OK, player. well, we salute <laughs> him. Uh, you're right. And that's a strong correction. We Rudy. salute him. I don't want to denigrate all the Rudys, but I can tell you this one with the hair gel and stuff uh, leaking down his forehead. This one, he's got nothing left. People the Four just... Seasons Landscaping, Rudy. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. What are you doing? Why did you call the press conference there?
Uh, but you're yeah. right. This uh, Rudy, Rudy G, he's like the epitome of, well, he's a male Karen, the way he's behaved. And I said it. That's my opinion. He's a male Karen. And they're everywhere. He's probably inspired more, if I know this Rudy, and people who prefer to just follow this mess. <laughs> this is, they're at every turn. Here, there, everywhere.